Well, I thought I'd outgrown teaching to the air, but obviously I didn't. Didn't catch that video stopping, so I went a little bit further. I think this is where the video stopped. We said the y-intercept was 0, 6, and the rise over run, remember whenever it's a whole number, we put it over 1, so the slope or rise over run is negative 2 over positive 1. And then I explained to the air, and now I'll explain it to you, that when you're trying to find an intersection point, that's what solve means, find the point where the two lines cross. You want to put as many points on the line as possible because if your line's just off by a teeny bit, you're not going to be able to read that point where they cross. So I just put a ton of points on it. I don't stop at three. And then that way, I more than likely will have the point that the two lines have in common. So 0, 6, down 2, over 1, down 2, run forward, run 1, down 2, run 1, down 2, so on. So I just did, you know, quite a few of them. Sometimes I'll do it all the way across the graph. Sometimes I'll just do, you know, six or eight. But you'll see why in a second when I put the second line on, why it's nice to have that. Because then you're not guessing what the point is in common. You have so many points there that more than likely you're going to have the point of intersection. Unless it's way in a corner or something. Okay, so line one is done. So y2 is negative x plus 2y equals 2. So we need to get y alone. Remember, our goal is to make it look like y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to do the opposite add, and I'm going to put my 1 in because I need that for my slope. So that's negative 1x, so do the opposite, add 1x. And then do the same thing over here, but not under the 2, because you don't want to accidentally add those. So then we get 2y equals 1x plus 2. Not quite solved for y. Don't stop here. You can't leave a number in front. So the opposite of times 2 is divide by 2. So we get y equals 1 half x plus 1. Now we're ready to write our important information about this line. So our y-intercept is 0, 1. And our slope, which is rise over run on a graph, is 1 over 2. So when it's a fraction, we don't need to put in the 1. It's all we already have a fraction, so we're good to go. So this is positive, so rise 1, run 2. Rise 1, run 2, ding, 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 ding. Look at I already found the point of intersection. Let's do a couple more points just to make it a nice line. Rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2. So I am ready to draw my second line, and I didn't put so many in there because I found the point of intersection right away. And I always tell students, take a colored pen or pencil, different than the colors you have, and circle that point. That is your solution. Now you need to name the coordinates. So let's write solution. And it is, what's my x? 1, 2. What's my y? 1, 2. And you want to hear something cool about systems? This is why I love systems. I wish it wasn't the last section that we, we learn. Every single problem in systems can be checked. You just plug this in for x, plug this in for y in both equations. So put 2 in for x and 2 in for y. And you can even do a mental check like I'm doing here. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Boom. Got the right number. Then put a 2 in here. Is negative 2 plus 2 times 2 equal to 2? 4 minus 2 is 2. Yes, it is. 
So as long as you get the same number on both sides, and I got 4 plus 2 equals 6, I can walk away and go, because these are usually a lot more points than other problems, and I can walk away and go, yes, it checked. I put this in as x, I put this in as y, and I got the same number on both sides, 6 and 6, 2 and 2. Isn't that neat? So every single system problem can be checked. And I think it's the last four problems on your Module 7 test and the last four problems on your final exam. So just keep that in mind. If you have extra time, go back and plug this in for x and y. And don't forget, it has to be plugged into both equations, not just one, because it has to be a point on both lines. So if you get equal things after plugging it in, you know you got it right. You can go, yes, I got those four. And this is something you'll be doing the rest of your math life is solving systems. Like I said, they move up in hardness. We add circles in and parabolas, so we're not just working with lines. But the whole thing that we're learning here just carries on. It's just we use different figures. Okay, let's go ahead and go to page two. We have a couple more fun ones. And these are fun, aren't they? I think we're pretty good at graphing lines now, so I think they're pretty fun. Okay, here's another system. Notice it's two or more equations. This one is two. So let's do our two scenarios again. So the first one, x minus 3y equals 3. So we need to get y alone. So that means, and remember this is 1, so I need to do the opposite. Subtract 1x, subtract 1x. So we look at only the sign that's in front of it to do the opposite. That cancels, and we get negative 3y equals, turning these around, negative 1x. So keep the sign that's in front of it with it. 3 has no sign, so that means it's positive. And this is the type that I told you earlier a lot of students miss because of the sign, so be careful. The opposite of times negative 3 is divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. So double negatives, take care of those right away so you don't miss it. So this turns into 1y, which is y, equals positive 1 third x, and a negative, a positive divided by negative is negative 1. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 1, and my rise over run is 1 third. Now let's get that on the graph and do as many points as we can. So 0, negative 1, rise 1, run 3, rise 1, run 1, 2, 3, rise 1, run 1, 2, 3, rise 1, run 1, 2, 3. So that's quite a few, unless it intersects over there, in which case we can just go backwards with some. So do we go backwards with 1? Down 1, do the opposite. Instead of up 1, right 3, down 1, left 3, 1, 2, 3. And down 1, 1, 2, 3. That way we're kind of across the whole graph. And you can see you want these lines to be really exact, so make sure and use your straight edge because you're reading where they cross. So if you just slop a line on that's not straight, it's going to be really hard to tell where it intersects. Okay, second line, 3x minus 9y equals negative 18. I want to get y alone, so that means I need to do the opposite of add 3x, is subtract 3x from both sides. 
and that's gone. So then I get negative 9y equals, putting it in the correct order, negative 3x and negative 18. And then we need to divide everything by negative 9. There's all kinds of negatives everywhere. So be careful, double negative, double negative, double negative. So this turns into 1. So y equals, this needs to be simplified, so does this. So 3 ninths is divisible by 3, numerator and denominator. And so 3 divided by 3 will be 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then x. 18 divided by 9, and it's positive, is 2. So my y-intercept is 0, 2. And my slope, which is rise over run, oh, oh look what's happening here. What can you tell me? Slopes are the same, which means the lines are parallel. So tell me what the solution is going to be. Where do parallel lines cross? Nowhere. So I already know without even finishing this that this is a no solution problem because the lines aren't going to cross. But when it says solve by graphing, even if you see ahead of time that it's not going to have a solution, you still have to put your lines on the graph because that's part of your points. So 0, 2, rise 1, run 1, 2, 3. Rise 1, run 1, 2, 3. And then we can go down 1, left 3. Down 1, left 1, 2, 3. And as predicted, parallel. So two lines that are parallel have the same slope. Oh my gosh, I can't pick up my straight edge. They have the same slope and they never intersect. So if they never intersect, there's no solution. Because remember, a solution is the point of intersection. So let's write parallel lines and remember that's inconsistent. I'm just going to practice the vocabulary and parallel lines mean no solution because there's no point of intersection. So you have to understand the meaning of solution to know that parallel lines mean no solution. So a solution is where the two lines or two figures intersect. Since they do not intersect, it's no solution. Okay, let's do this last one. I don't think we're going to have time to finish it. Well, it's not the last one. There's one on the next page, but last one on this page. But we can give it a start and then finish it on the next video. So 2x plus y equals 3. Ooh, I love it when they give us these easy ones. So subtract 2x, subtract 2x, and see why it's easy? Because there's nothing in front of the y, so it's a one-step problem. So y equals negative 2x and positive 3. So my y-intercept is 0, 3. And my slope, or rise over run, is negative 2 over positive 1. Don't forget that. The denominator is always positive. So 0, 3, down 2, run 1. Down 2, run 1. Down 2, run 1. Down 2, run 1. Down 2, that should probably be enough. Okay, let's connect that and then we'll do the next line on the next video because I see we have about 20 seconds left. 
So there's my first line, all pretty. Okay, and we'll do the next one if you want. Before the next video starts, do 